Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Exoskeleton is a wearable device supporting human to generate physical power required for manual tasks. It is going to be next sophisticated gadget for the armed forces across the globe transforming a soldier into a super soldier. They will improve the muscle activity, discomfort and endurance time in forward bending work which is much needed in high altitude operation. With Sino India and Indo Pak border issue which is likely to be guarded more intensely, any support to make the lives of soldiers safer and conducive shall go a long way in their motivation and operational efficiency. Personal safety and comfort too forms a crucial part in maintaining high standards of the armed forces. An easy maneuver in tough terrain gives soldiers a strategic advantage. These all can be achieved with exoskeleton technology. Major countries all over the world are looking at exoskeleton technology for their soldiers which will not only build in advanced technology at disposal of wearer but also reduce the weights of several equipment that a soldier has to carry with him like helmet, radios, night vision goggles and body armor. There have been mainly two approaches for the design of augmentative exoskeleton namely passive or unpowered augmentative exoskeleton and powered augmentative exoskeleton. The passive exoskeleton uses passive elements such as springs, dampers, etc. to transfer the payload to the ground. However, active exoskeleton not only transfer the payload to ground but also impart energy through the actuators resulting in reduced energy consumption by the soldier. At the same time, a powered exoskeleton is a wearable mobile machine that is powered by a system of electric motors, pneumatics, levers, hydraulics or a combination of technologies that allow for limb movement with increased strength and endurance. Its design aims to provide back support, sense the user's motion and send a signal to motors which manage the gears. The exoskeleton support the shoulder, waist and thigh and assist movement for lifting and holding heavy items. China has also fielded its military grade exoskeleton suits which are powered and used for carrying ammunition at LSE. Reports indicate an earlier version of non-powered exoskeleton suit was also used by Chinese border defense troops in later part of 2020 for supporting operations like supply, delivery, patrol etc. This has helped PLA border defense troops in southwest China region to carry out tasks in high altitude in human environment. China is also working to supply more types of mission specific exoskeleton suits. The operational advantage claimed by the use of this few kilograms of exoskeletons are 20 kilograms of assisted strength, relieve more than 50% of load burden thereby reducing the risk of injury and fatigue to the troops. Now talking about DRDO's progress on exoskeleton, DIBEL, the Defense Bioengineering and Electromedical Laboratory, the DRDO's nodal lab is doing the research and development on the exoskeleton. It is using in-house expertise in disciplines of biomedical or biomechanics, actuators and control system to build this technology. The exoskeleton system is being designed and developed for specific military logistic applications involving bending, lifting of payload, walking with payload anterior to the body and unloading the same. DIDO is working on several configuration including lower upper extremity and full body exoskeleton are being developed. To achieve this, the biomechanical characteristic of soldiers during various logistic activities such as transportation of goods, ration, ammunition etc. through diverse terrain for long distances with their complete military gear has been systematically captured and analyzed. DIDU has been progressing on the different design approaches to build an augmentative exoskeleton for the Indian Army. Last year, in June 2021, DRDU has also showcased the model of exoskeleton and is working with Academia on its development. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.